the forehead of your robot. Around spring 2016, I was using the Internet Explorer on my Xbox 360, looking up the creepypasta wiki to search for any good story that I could gloss over. Morbus.abi, jelly beans, anything that I could click to read. At one time, I intentionally clicked on black sheep, but sometime when I was getting around to read it, there was a message box replacing the pasta that I could hardly remember. This pasta contains content that is not safe for work. Would you like to continue reading? I was like, I might read it, at the time, but I backed out to read something else. A few weeks later, I glared in anger at black sheep, but I could have clicked it if I really tried. Even in the summer, I stared in anger at those words in any category. Naturally, it was my curiosity to look at these stories, but the warning had kept me away, although I wanted to record it. In 2017, another pasta was hit when I was glossing over it as part of my duties to read them on my now broken tablet, being a blank space because of the same warning. I questioned, why would it do that, before editing the image? Again, I glared at the black sheep words in anger. In 2018, I began using another tablet while playing Banjo-Tooie on my N64 downstairs, attempting to read more Morbus.abi, but I thought to move on to other open stories in the background of the internet. I kept Please Wake Up, The Surgery and Video Head before I checked them. The surgery was hit by the NSFW warning, and I disconnected from the internet to prevent the virus from spreading any further. I claimed that Black Sheep was responsible for hiding any NSFW pasta ever since that year, and I kept a mental note on recording it if I ever get the chance. I went upstairs to jot down this for investigation, but I don't know why a virus could target graphic stories, if anything, 